Hi there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to show you how to release stuck sink plug. I've previously done videos where I've un showed people how to unstuck a pop-up drain plug, but this drain plug just sits in there. The way this drain plug works is it comes down into here, it has a loop right here inside this pipe. This rod here comes, feeds into that loop, and then it's got this other uh, brackets here that hook onto this rod here and at the top you can raise or lower the rod to make to either close the drain plug or open the drain plug. And this here is the rod I'm talking about. You can lower it to open your drain plug or you can raise it like this and it closes off your drain plug. So the problem people are having is this drain plug is stuck, it won't come up. And I'm gonna show you a couple reasons why that drain plug could be stuck or not working at all. So one likely reason could be is there is a lot of buildup of toothpaste, shaving cream, whatever down in here, also hair, and it's just created like a big cluster of gooey mess inside here, under here and it's holding it stuck, it's holding it in position. It could be even halfway like this and not moving anywhere. And you'll find that it'll have a slow drain. Another reason could be at the bottom of this drain plug, there is a loop down there and it could be broke. Another reason that could be undone is up there at the top. You can see that nut there that where the bracket hooks onto the rod that you pull up and down up above on the sink. That nut could be loose on that rod. So it would just slide up and down. It won't work properly. So you just make sure that's tight first. It could be this rod here in the end is broke, or it could simply be disconnected right here. And I'll show you what I mean. So this here is like a spring loaded clip. So what you do is say, we'll just take it off. Let's say, now let's say it's like that. Somehow this spring loaded clip has come loose and the rod has come out from one of these, these dro this drop down bracket bar here, come out of one of these holes. So no matter what you do up there, if you lift it or lower it, this isn't going to move, right? It's just going to go like this. And then you think that your drain plug is stuck. So hopefully that is an easy fix for you. All you got to do is run this clip through here. Now your clip may be compressed like this. You can spread it open wider, so it causes a friction on this rod. And you can, you want to run this clip through here first, and then you want to run the rod through, or that drop down bar, I should say. I don't know what the actual name for that is, but, and then you can fit, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. You can fit that clip up on that rod, the horizontal rod here. Push it forward a little bit so it's pretty much up and down. You can see there's lots of friction there. That will not slide off anymore. I'll go up top and I'll raise and lower the rod. And you can see how that is going to work now. Another reason could be, it could be broken in here, could be so you want to take that off like this, and then you're going to want to unscrew this. You may need a wrench for this. And then you're going to, once it's loose, you take out the little ball. Now see, this could be broken here, causing you to have an issue. And then inside here, there is this thing here, the seal here. Now one side is concaved to fit the shape of that ball. This side is flat. Just make sure that if you do remove it, you put it back right so that the concaved part faces towards the back wall here. I'm just gonna put that back in there for now so we don't forget. So yeah, back to where we were. This could be broke and it's not hooking onto the loop of the drain plug. And I'm going to show you that loop right now because that loop could also be broken. So here's your drain plug here. Now this is a part, right? 
So if this is stuck, you can put a strong magnet on here and lift it out, or you can just pry it open with a screwdriver, get a good grip on it, and pull it out like that. So what I was saying when the bottom of this, this loop could be broke right here. So what happens is this fits in here. This is what fits in here and allows you to lift and lower this drain plug. So if this is broke, right, it's not going to work. If this is broke, it won't work. So what you need to do is either get whatever part you need, whether it's the drain plug or this rod here. You can find them at your local hardware store or on Amazon. So with that all being okay now, I'm going to show you how to put it all back together. So what we want to do is we want this loop part to be facing against your wall, against your the back of your drain when you lower it down because you want this to catch it here like this. If it's like this, it's not going to work, right? So you need it like that, facing backwards, so that this will fit through here and has something to catch. So here we go, we're gonna lower this into place, like I mentioned. So again, make sure that that washer seal is in there with the concave part sitting out. And we're gonna put this back in there. Very simple. Thread this back on. Tighten it up. Okay, now we're going to grab this clip again. And we're going to run it through here. And then we're going to run our bracket that's here like this and we're going to put the other hole in the end of this clip and we're going to slide everything up you can just squeeze this together to be able to move it and when you let go it doesn't move it's friction so there we can see i'll reach up top and i'll grab the rod lift it that's going to close our drain lower it opens our drain again Raise it, closes our drain, lower it, opens our drain. So again, that's basically the only things that can go wrong with that kind of drain plug. I hope this video helps you. If you have a pop-up drain plug in your home and you ever have trouble with getting that pop-up drain unstuck, I also have a very popular video on that on my channel where you can go watch it. I'll also leave a link below in the description of this video. Again, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you and we'll see you on the next one.